Yo, what it do, man? This is Grindface and the Therapist, man. I'm Demetrius. And I'm Samia. We've been together for 28 years, 23 years, but who's counting? This is episode 14, and we're going to get on the topic of expectations. So, Samia, let's, let's start off on this expectation that people expect you to have, but they don't carry value. I want to say expect the same thing from their self. So, the thought came up because we were watching the news Yesterday, and the Will Smith thing came up again. I guess he did an interview with someone, and uh, the news reporter was saying it was a female. She's like, ah, I just don't know if, if if we could forgive him, and it just made me feel like not feel not a feeling. It just made me think that we have a higher expectation for others than we have for ourselves, like. You can have this whole good reputation, right? Do everything right your whole life and have one bad moment. Slap one nigga. And then everything's thrown away. And all I could think about, if that was her and she had one bad moment as a reporter, would she want grace or would she feel the same way she felt about Will Smith? So for me, that's a, it's hypocritical. You know, we will hold someone to a high standard, but then when it comes to us, it's like, I deserve a chance. But why doesn't the person that you hold to a higher standard than yourself a chance? Shouldn't you hold yourself higher than you hold someone else? No, it's easy. I think it's more of this internet base. It's, it's the point is, let's hold these people that I'm envy of to a higher standard. Of what the I don't think it's Joe. necessarily because envy. If, I think if, it's just more If a regular celebrity. Joe do something, nobody cares. I mean, niggas get but slapped why? It's day. still a person. It's still a person. Because nobody knows. It's, it's not no, going to no, no, give no, them no, no, a, no, no. no clout. That's, that's you know not what I'm, what I'm saying. I'm saying, what's the definition of, of a regular Joe? Because even though I'm not a celebrity, I'm somebody. And so what makes you different I think it's the influence. The more influence you have, the more people want to hold you against the wall. I mean, up on the cross. Put it that way. The more influence you have, people want to hold you against the cross. If you don't have no influence, people don't don't care what you do. But this is the thing. You don't have to be a celebrity to have influence. Well, I didn't say celebrity. I said influence. It's two different words. But this is the thing. Influence, no influence. How How can I expect someone else to do something that I won't even do? You don't, don't think that's don't, hypocritical? Because it, it, people just talk. It's, 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 I don't know. I don't understand that because at the same time, it's like people throwing rocks in a glass house and they got a glass house with a shattered window saying. already. You know what but I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. How so could you? How because c- people don't know their skeleton. So it's like I could, I could talk all this because people no, don't know what I'm doing. But then I'll hear people say, well, they have a platform, but you have a platform too. I agree. I, and that's why it may I not be back, a bigger platform, and that, and but you have said, a platform too. That's why Every I go time back you influence. wake up and somebody sees you, unless you tell me you sit in your house every day, all day, and you have access to no other person, you have a platform. Yeah, you have influence to your kids, you have your, influence neighbors, your neighbors, your the person employees. in the store, your yes. co workers. Yes. So you have a platform too. I think we, we misinterpret platform. Everyone has a platform because there's always someone watching you. Online, offline. So how could you say it's not okay for this person to do it, but it's okay for you to do it? I believe everybody makes mistakes, and you should be forgiving. And in today's society, people really just want to tear down people's careers because that, that's all it comes down to at the end of the day. It's like back in the day when the, the town used to come around for the people with the pit the stones. No, not the stones, but the pick forks and the torch fires, the, the mob. You know, back in the day, and they had that mob going for that. Oh, when they person. did something. That's the same thing is going on with the internet. A mob mentality. The mob mentality attack one person. Some people don't even agree with it, but they just want to follow suit if they fit in. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's. I'm just gonna jump on the bandwagon with them because this is what everybody else is doing. Is saying, it's, it's it's crazy. I'm just the person that I personally feel like I always give grace because I would want grace extended to me. I remember when we, I was having a text conversation with a, a, a person and they were they were ridiculing um kirk franklin and so i went i'm a you can't tell me something i gotta go research it for myself so i'm not the type of person you can bring information to 
And I'm going to take it as face yeah, value. Yeah, I'm not going to research nothing. But I'm not going to have an opinion about it either. I'm just going to move on. So when I look and watch the interview, I'm like, that's not what he's saying. Uh, and so I told the person, I'm like, we don't know this man in real life. And I always want to give the benefit of the doubt. Because when I'm in that position, I would want someone else to give me the benefit of the doubt. I just hate how... You know, in society, we're so quick to judge and we're so quick to throw somebody to the wolves. But I just always think, but that, you know, that could be you, though, right? At the end of the day, I believe it's the value of their influence of people, how how high they hold this person. Because, like I said, Pookie could slap James and beat him but up. The book, okay, and but nobody that's cares. Crazy and it'd be me. all over the internet and nobody cares. I will never hold someone higher than I hold myself. Because what you're basically saying is this person is somebody. Yes. I'm nobody. I'm somebody. I'm always going to hold myself higher than I hold the next man or woman. Yes, you somebody, but the internet don't think you're somebody. I don't care what so, the internet so, thinks. But that's who the mom mentality is. But the listen mom, to what I'm saying. I'm not mom. talking about the internet. I'm talking about the individual mindset of the person. You you hold someone higher than you hold yourself. So you feel someone should conduct themselves higher than you should conduct yourself. That tells me you don't think highly of yourself. True. True. So we leave it to an example of, so if you could break it down to the people like example of not holding yourself accountable. You know what? I'll break it down to uh, I just had an incident, man, with um, Burks. I, and this is going to put Burks on blast. Yeah, this goes with holding yourself accountable. Like, um, I bought a vehicle, the fuse, they put the wrong fuse in, and they didn't want to take responsibility of. Don't say they, an employee. Employee, manager of the, the service department didn't want to take responsibility and cover my towing fee to bring the vehicle in. It's basically telling me it was. Shit happens. Like basically sums up. Shit happens. This is the process of only one of these um side by side vehicles. So um I made a video and the higher up reached out to me and told me like this was a total BS. You know what I'm saying? And basically covered my toll fee, sent me a little promo promotional package and everything and apologized. But at the end of the day, we we holding people accountable for something they won't hold their self accountable. It's like, come on, man. It, it, this, you know what I'm saying? This is it's crazy. But she's on her phone. She's in her emails once again, sidetracking. So she ain't engaged with me. I am engaged. I got lost somewhere in my conversation. I don't know. Focused on me. But like, anyway. <laughs> goodness. You're talking about Burt's. But this is my thing. <clears throat> again, I always think if it was me. And I told my husband, I'm like, look, that's a representative of the company, right? Even though you should know who you have representing your company. I don't fault the company because I have employees, right? I don't always know what they do when I'm not there. And so even though the guy, but they made, they, 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 they wrote their wrong yes, and they, 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 and they made wrong. it right. He made it right. And they made it right. But I don't feel like it was the, the culture of the company. I personally feel like, it was that individual. He was just being rude. Yes, yes. And and at the same time, I guess they took the um, responsibility once they found out the information. But then again, it was my influence on it. So when that influence, when people feel like you have an influence, and I guess they feel like it's a power, so they're going to hold you more higher of what you say and what you do accountability you know what i'm saying and at the same time i believe we all got an influence no matter the size of the influence we could really change and impact somebody's lives off what we say and what we do so at the end of the day influence is a big thing and um i'm just i'm just mumbling on because she ran off on the set you know what i'm saying it's like we in the middle of the podcast and she just run off somewhere and shit i think it's that that tea i don't know <laughs> i had to go blow my nose <laughs> I had to go blow my nose. Oh so, man. Um Yeah, she don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh. So, no. Um We done we done switch gears. We're on something else now. Oh, what you say? So go ahead. Lead on example of somebody not holding yourself accountable, but 
put that same situation on somebody else because they feel like they have a bigger influence. I get an example of the reporter. Let me I forget the report. We're talking about regular people. Okay. Regular day in life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, just just, just a regular day. Not no reporter type this. Oh. A regular situation. So I had a situation. I don't like to talk about people. I like to talk about myself. Give my own examples of my life. So um I had a situation where a family member subbed me. This was like what a year ago, two years ago. I don't know. I don't keep track of your subs. <laughs> it's only sub. One sub. Social media. So I got a subliminal on social media. Of course, you know, I don't really be on social media on family members' pages like that. And it kept coming to me. Kept coming to me. People kept bringing it to me. So about the third or fourth person that brought it to me, I went to go look and see what it was. Um. So they saying a lot of disrespectful stuff. So I go straight to the person. Now, the crazy thing is, they can say disrespectful stuff to me, right? But when I confront them on what they're saying, they want to throw up, aren't you supposed to be a doctor? As if I'm wrong for confronting them about what they're doing to me. You got to take the higher role, like what Michelle Hold Obama on. say. Hold on. So I said, <laughs> and it probably was petty and it was wrong. But I said, aren't you supposed to be a professor? Meaning you profess to be a child of God. You know what I mean? So for me, it's like you're holding me to a higher standard because of my title. Even though I didn't get disrespectful, I just confronted your behavior. But all of a sudden, you're the doctor. Why are you asking me what, I, what I'm doing when you're wrong? It's like, but you profess to be a child of God and you're on here disrespecting me for what, because I didn't even know there was ever an issue but now that I'm at your, your door with it, coming straight to you with it, not social media, not anybody else, you want to play the I'm supposed to be a doctor card. I think people just use that because they, they feel like you have something to lose. So we're going we gonna to make sure you, you recognize before the route I take. But I wasn't even disrespectful. I'm calling you out on your behavior on the principle I haven't did anything to you. So why are you dis- talking about me on social media? You know what I mean? And so snatching these Christian cards. And so when I, when, when I confront you, you want to hold me to a standard that you don't even hold yourself, which doesn't make sense. Cause I would think the spiritual card would be higher than a title card given by the world. It's all falls down to how people look and what they value. That's at the end of the day. It's I think like, it was a cop out. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if you really don't value a person, you really care less what they do. But you you feel like they above you and hold some type of weight. So now you you every move they do, you judge metal and stuff like that. I, that's I think it's self something self in of self worth. Oh, I think it could be envy too, though. Because <clears throat> again, I don't hold anyone higher than I hold myself. That's just that's just crazy to me. Actually, I don't give a hell what anybody. I don't look do. at the next person and be like, "Oh yeah, they're better than me. They're higher than me." You know, no. Yeah, I, I, this I is a person. That. Yeah, just like me. So whatever they, I feel like they should be doing. I definitely feel like I should be doing. No difference. Hey, Amen. Let's, let's. I got the, the, the drums on that one. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I really care less what anybody's doing. If it's affecting me, now we have a problem. If it's not. You could do whatever the hell you want. It's not my business. And I don't understand why people don't, I don't know. if you, Because I feel like if you out here on the grind trying to get the bag and do whatever you do, you don't have time to worry about the next person. But when you just sitting around ain't got shit to do, that's all you do is worry about the next person. So if you out there worrying about the next person, get your ass up and get, get something to do. Get some business. Please. <laughs> If the shoe fit, put it on and wear it and walk a mile. Oh, that's a coin. <laughs> that's a coin. That's a coin. The shoe fit, walk a mile in it. Yes. Um. Are you all right? You're breathing hard and shit over here? Like, God damn, it's a podcast. I mean, shit, ain't no exercise going on over here. Shit. <laughs> My chest. <clears throat> Goodness. That's when you drop gems. They, it's hard to swallow when you drop the gems over here. She about to choke. 
need something to drink. Um, that was funny. This is just a side side note. I would go get my CCW, and the investigator, he's like, uh, "When's the last time you you had um, you drunk alcohol?" And I was like, "I don't drink." He said, "No." Like, when's the last <laughs> when's the last time you drunk al- alcohol? And I was like, "No, seriously, like, I don't drink." And it was crazy. This is just a side funny to me conversation that he couldn't believe or fathom the thought that I never well. I'm not going to say I never. I drunk alcohol maybe three times as an adolescent. Mm, that got, was your answer. You was lying. I, that was your on, answer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was an adolescent. After I, hold on. After I thought about it. I never got buzzed. I never got tipsy. But when he asked me, like, when's the last time did you drink? You should have said seven. No, my first. <laughs> really? <laughs> my first thought was I don't drink. And because I had to think about it when I left, like, oh, yeah. I tried it like when I was a teenager, but because I don't drink, my thought didn't go to it. It was just automatically I don't drink. But it was funny. His react. He looked at me like he thought I was. It was so funny. His look. And I kind of was like, dang, he think I'm lying. Right. And he's the investigator for me to get my CCW. But that was even crazy to me, too, because it's like people think, too, because they do something like. You have to do it, too. Because when yeah. I tell people I don't drink alcohol, when is on the plane? Yeah. And uh, the guy was like, so Demetrius has already been at the bar for hours. Hey, somebody telling my business out there like I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. I wake up. I, I just see videos. I he got flight attendants bar. doing videos of him around the plane. I'm like, what are you doing? I was in the bar in the plane. You know what I'm saying? Make so I get up. I go look for him. And he's at the bar. And so I sit down or whatever. And um, the the bartender's like, you want to drink? I was like, yeah, apple juice. So he looks at me crazy, like apple juice. I was like, do you guys have apple juice at the bar? He was like, yeah. He was like, you sure you don't want to drink? I don't. And I'm like, I don't drink. And he just looks at me crazy. And it's just like, people really think, it's like when a woman it's says a they don't. Yeah, yeah like when a woman says they don't want to have a baby. And people are like, what? Like, no, sometimes people don't do things oh, when, when that you do. And it's not in- interested. What? So I know. Okay. When a woman says she's not interested, it's like, yeah, right. Okay. Ooh, stop lying. You're just being funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? So people really had this mindset of because they do it and it's a norm to them that everyone else should do it, which is another thing that we could be judgmental on. Because if you would have seen the investigator's face, like, I was like, I don't drink. He's like, no, like, you're not listening to the question. But I mean, I was with him because you wasn't listening to the question because the answer was. Okay, but what? You okay. You were a juvenile. But I, because I don't drink, my mind doesn't go that far back. Like, oh, yeah, when I was. Because I would have been like, yeah, I'm on my way here. <laughs> but this is my thing, too, though. Like, what if I never drunk before? And that's what I'm saying. It's like people have this expectation because that, 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 that because that's, that's they do really, it, you do it, no, too. That's really a taboo because you're going to try it. Not everybody, drink, though. But did you? I exactly. did. I mean, I it, did, but not, not everybody but drinks. Small, so I know people that yeah, never I mean, drunk and don't drink, as they say. You know what I'm saying? But you, you don't know about people because you just told. You're being judgmental. No, I'm not. Why you would just, somebody you lie just, about you, not drinking? I don't know. You just did. You told that guy you did it. I didn't lie. Yes, you did. And that's I what I'm saying. I forgot because it. And, and that's what no. they're going to say. I forgot. No, you ain't. You know what I'm saying? So, so that guy, in his mind, he went home like, babe, I just ran across somebody that said ain't never drunk in their life. But it, it's people like that, But though. you lied. That's what I'm saying. People but lie. But I didn't <laughs> lie because... <laughs> when he asked me the question, I'm like, I don't drink. But that's his perception is I met a person that never drunk in their life. Mm. And that's what I'm saying. But there are people <laughs> that have never drunk. And, as they okay, say. As I've they never say. been intoxicated. I've mm. never been tipsy in my life. You was probably tipsy and didn't realize it. Dangerous. You I've don't never know. been. How you, I, you you sound, don't now know. you sound stupid because people get high no. and tipsy and don't realize they high and tipsy. I'm telling you, like some people, you get, sound crazy. No, sometimes no, they don't mean, understand. Okay, I'm, it I'm not talking. I'm not talking about some people. I'm talking about myself. I know when my mind is in an altered state is the reason why I don't like to smoke or drink 
plus because I know when it's almost like when you know better and you do it anyways, the consequences is greater. However, I've never been tipsy or I've never been drunk ever. Tipsy and drunk is the same thing, sweetie. Whatever. That's the point. I don't know because I've never experienced it before. So you've been high before? Yes. And you didn't like that feeling? When I, okay. When I was a teenager and I would get high, it was cool. Well, honestly, I'm going to be honest. The first time I smoked, I smoked some chronic. And my next door neighbor, who was an adult, he should have been in trouble. He gave me some chronic. I took it to my friend's crazy feeling just laughing at everything feel like we float that was a good weed back in the day it made you laugh and giggle I'm, today's weed you ain't giggling that shit i could not <laughs> stop laughing and then after that it was never that same high but i was i was you know i was never like a let's go get high type of person like it was more of oh sania I got swing. Do you want to like? I never went to go actively seek and buy yes. marijuana. That's never been my personality. He, you, would be the influence. Like, oh babe, just come smoke with me. So yeah, I was trying to take advantage. I ain't gonna lie. Until one, until one day I got her high and she, I got, I, I was Can so I tell scared. The story? Oh my god, I was so, scared. I was I've scared. only <laughs> smoked in adolescence, right? So once I had my baby at sixteen, just like a lot of stuff, I was like, I'm not doing. Because I didn't really, I was never like a smoker like that anyway. So it wasn't really a big deal to me. Plus, I was really serious about God. And I just, I firmly believe when you know something is wrong and you do it anyways, it's I just feel like it's earth. a great. It's not wrong. God created the natural okay. herbs. My, my moral compass and principles is when I know something is wrong and I just feel like it's a greater consequence. So this is what happened. So I, we was like, what? I was like late twenties. Yeah, this is like late twenties. So late twenties, <laughs> I hadn't smoked since I was like what fifteen. So like late twenties, he's like, oh babe, because he asked me all the time, smoke with me, drink with me for years. No, no, no. One particular day, so this is where I messed up. He was like, smoke with me. I'm like, okay. I was like, yeah, it's about no, to not, I'm about to take advantage. I don't he. For some reason, he always got this idea, like, to try to get me drunk or something to take advantage. Like, I don't know what this is about, but this is apparently, like, a dream of his because, <laughs> this, I mean, this is where his mind always goes. Like, I remember he tried to put some alcohol. My, alcohol is so nasty to me. I taste it immediately. He was trying to do it that day. Like, dude, like, what, what is your plan doing? I should act, probably act drunk. <laughs> just to see what is it that he really wants to do to me. But anyways, so he gave me some weed and that particular day was cool. I was chill. I just went to sleep. We did other stuff and that was it. Then I'm like, okay, so this was cool. So I don't know what he gave me this time. So like a few days later, I was like, oh, that was cool. Yeah. Okay. I, I, that first I was like, I got to go, I got to come correct. There's some fire, fire, fire. So then a few days later, I'm like, okay, he gives me something. I got paranoid. I thought I was dying. My heart, it it was, I was like, this ain't marijuana. I don't know what this is, but this is not weed. So I'm like tripping. I'm like, I can't breathe. I got to go to the hospital. And he's just staring there stuck. He's not saying, he's just looking at me. She trying to call the police and shit. Like, like. So calm your ass down now. Hold on. <laughs> so he like, get in the shower. Get in the shower. So get in the shower so you can calm down. I'm like, no, I can't breathe. I feel like I'm dying. My chest is hurt. And he's just, he, but the, the funny thing of it all, when I think back back about it, he just has this blank stare. Like he's scared. He's not like, saying I fucked up. anything. <laughs> like he's just staring at me like I'm crazy. He's not saying anything. So I'm like, I got to call the ambulance. Like, I got to call 911. And so he just like, no, don't, 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 don't go. So anyways, I don't know how long I was high like that, but that was the worst feeling in my life. And I said, and this is why I believe when you know you're not supposed to do something, God is going to make sure you don't. I will never smoke marijuana ever again in my life. That's how you get scared. I'm straight. Now I got to share my shit no 
ever again in life. And on top of that, I'm glad I don't do any type of drugs because with this fentanyl thing, it's like in reality, you don't know what you're getting. Because when I used to smoke when I was an adolescent versus that last time I smoked, I don't care what Dimitri says, I don't know what that was, but that was crack. Um, was crack. That, was some, that was something else. Pose is weed. Like, weed is not supposed to make you hallucinate, feel like you basically dying and can't bri- Like, I don't know what that was. That was that fire. No, I don't know what that was. That was some crack, something that was laced that they told him was marijuana. No, but today's time, you really don't know what's in these drugs and what people put in shit. Because we always had a rule when we was growing up. It's like, you got to roll that in front of us. You can't come to the, the event or to the social circle with a pre-roll blunt or joint. Think about it now. A lot of these, play, everybody got pre-rolls. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, that was a no-no. You know what I'm saying? You got to break that down and roll it up in front of us so we could see what's what actually going inside of it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like today's time, you really don't know what you smoking on and what you're getting your hands on, especially with that fitting on going all around crazy. That's a new, I don't know, if these kids is on some new shit. I told Demetrius, I'm said, if you ever do something like that to me again, I'm definitely calling the police. I got her um, one day with my um. I made some um a steak. Ooh, it was nice and juicy. I had some marijuana honey. That was not too long ago, I but glazed, I was not. I glazed that, but I didn't offer it to her. I just put <laughs> I put my steak in the microwave, and her little greedy ass came in there and ate it. You know what I'm saying? And I <laughs> no, so that was that was like not even a year ago. So he a little greedy ass. That wasn't yours, and I don't even like steak. <laughs> So no, it was kind of sodded. I don't even. No, it was a, a T bone steak. Was, yeah, I don't know it what was it was. T bone steak. He had no because Demetrius is lying. So Demetrius is the cook. I used to be the cook. Now Demetrius is the cook. So he cooks me dinner and everything. Like when I come home from the office and different things, he'll have dinner ready for me. So he had food in the microwave. So I assumed it was my plate. And so, no, I'm, you had your plate before that. You oh, came I did. For a second, <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. That wasn't yours. You ate my steak. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying. And then we went to the the circus. Then we went to the circus, and I, I, I I'm sitting here watching her because I know she I know she hot. You know what I'm saying. So she at the circus. I need some popcorn. And got the munching on that popcorn like doom 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 doom. I was dying. I said, look, Sia, she's hot. <laughs> I didn't I said, even know. <laughs> So he basically saw him eating the food and it tastes like honey and it tastes real good and I'm eating it. And then I don't know, I guess I had the money, but I was pissed off at him. (laughs) No, pissed off at me. You was pissed off at yourself for being greedy. (laughs) Because he didn't even tell me what it was. And so he was like, oh, you, you was just eating everything. So that was crazy. And then another time, this was not even a year ago. This was some months back. I have like um, some tea to make you go to the bathroom. And oh, so yeah, I, I spiked the tea with the honey too. I'm like, why does my tea taste sweet? Like this must be a different flavor or something. This I was kind of nervous too on that one because you left to the office. I was like, damn, she's driving. And she just drunk the tea. I hope she don't um, it kick in while she's driving. But I wasn't high though. I know it was an experiment. If you see what I'm saying, <laughs> and, and then it, so if I say I'm gonna call the police, people are like, oh, you're gonna call the police on your husband. You're wrong. And this is why I say this because he put marijuana liquid or whatever it he put in a marijuana honey cooking it he put it in my tea and so i was just like but, but this don't taste good, right like you drunk it all so but i never got high but it was just weird to me i was like did i do this to my t-? so but i got home and then he doesn't say anything now mind you what if i was impaired while i was driving what if I'd have got to the office and was tripping in front of my employee? This is the stuff that he does that pisses me off. So I get home. He don't say, he just w- keeps watching me. <laughs> he, doesn't say, he, he just keeps watching me for hours. Talking about, <laughs> damn, you never look at me like that when I come in before. <laughs> he just keep watching me. So then the next day, he was like, oh, how's your tea taste? And I was like, what? I was like, he was like, how'd your tea taste? I was like, yeah, it tastes like sweet or something. Why? He was like, oh, yeah, I put some marijuana honey in it. Were you high? Like, who who does that? And I was like, no, I wasn't high. But I was like, why would you do that? Like, I was driving. I was. So this is why I tell him, like, 
if but something you, happens uh, no, to me, but I'm that, gonna call you the wasn't, police. You wasn't the plan. It was just an emergency happened. You wasn't plan, you was you was home for the day. I was home, for the, home day. for the day. Because I was planning on you drinking your tea and me take advantage of your ass. Here we That's, go with this taking advantage. You know what I'm saying? Stuff. But you got a, I guess you got a phone call and you had to leave. So that fucked the whole plan up. I was home <laughs> for the day. But here we go with this taking advantage <laughs> stuff. So can you explain to me? Because I want to know what what are you trying to do? I don't know. You gotta wait till that day happen. It's never gonna happen, it's, dude. You never know. It's and you if it, whatever happens, I'm gonna go to police. <laughs> You, uh, you laughing. <laughs> I got a whole kit for your ass. <laughs> I'm going to call the police oh, because he's been trying. Oh, he's man. been saying this for years. Like every anniversary. Oh, babe, let's just just. Let, no, I'm not. I don't trust you. I don't know what you're trying to do to me. I don't know what you're we trying to do. We got sidetracked off the, the conversation. Like nobody want to hear your kinkiness. But um. So holding oh, mine. Other people to accountability. Um, I guess, oh man, that that topic was boring, huh? So we done switched it up. So let's go on something <laughs> it else. It was man. boring. Yeah. So what, what, we can what? wrap it up. No, we can't. Because I'm gonna go to another podcast. No, I got something. This one's too short, man. We still need it's to 31 the minutes. We still feel free to people something else, man. Let's talk about. Um, it's not too short. Let me go 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 to our traveling, man. Let's. No, talk. because that's a whole other podcast. So that's the other podcast. So yeah. we gonna we gonna cut this one short. So um. So basically, what y'all learned from this episode right here was basically how you gonna tell them what they learn? Because I'm, I'm gonna tell you what you need to learn is basically stop holding other people at a higher, what they call it, plateau, Le- a, a higher level, standard, a higher standard than yourself. You know, then you hold yourself. If you out there a fucking mess, let the next man be a mess. Don't judge him. You a mess yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, and stop trying to take advantage of your partner. And don't. Take advantage of your partner, but if you do, hey, more power to you, man. So I'm um, sending you wrap this up because uh, you're giving people bad advice. Uh, you could play with your partner; there's nothing wrong. Not if I the mean, partner doesn't don't want to be don't with. don't 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 try to get your partner on that like that that extreme drugs though, like cocaine and um these pills. These I don't even know the new drugs because I ain't even into that. So whatever new drugs is out there in Google, you know what I'm saying on Snapchat and stuff. Don't give people drugs, man, without them knowing. That's, that's exactly. a no-no. You know what I'm saying? But marijuana ain't a drug. It's a medication. It is because it's you don't know what's in it. it. No, 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 no. You don't know what's in it. I grow my own. Shit. Oh, do you? Yeah, I got the grind face. Matter of fact, I got the grind face on brand. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, they want to flag this podcast because we said marijuana too much in here. Who knows? But um, wrap it up, Sydney. Close it out for us. You forgot how to close the episode. <laughs> As I always say, continue to break cycles. Peace.